Peter's inboard, Brandon Berry coming to you from Melrose, Massachusetts, where it's now time for our sixth round co-feature of the evening in the junior lightweight division as Ontario Canada native Logan McGinnis makes his debut under the Murphy's Boxing umbrella here in Massachusetts as he takes on Carlos Fulgencio. McGinnis at times has held the NABA title in the featherweight, junior lightweight, and lightweight divisions. You know what that means? That means the guy can fight. His opponent, Carlos Fulgencio, he's a guy that he's We've seen time and time again, most recently getting stopped inside one round by Ryan Kozeski, a world-rated featherweight and junior lightweight. Can McGinnis do the same to Fulgencio that Kozeski did to him last time we saw him here in Melrose? We'll find out in the next few moments. Logan McGinnis was Carlos Fulgencio here on murphysboxing.com, coming to you from Melrose, Massachusetts. It's always been some very good fighters to come out of Canada. Always a good scene. Now you see guys making their home there like Don Stevenson, Lucian Butte, John Pascal. Uh, traditionally, you've seen some fighters hail from Canada that you don't even really identify with being Canadian. One of your favorites of all time, Arturo Gotti. That's right, yeah. Montreal, raised in Montreal, moved down to Jersey City. He was like 19 years old. Figured he'd have uh, more opportunity in the States, and it obviously favored him. But yeah, definitely some tough guys in front of that area. Both combatants in the ring right now, Logan McGinnis and Carlos Fulgencio. We'll get the official ring introductions courtesy of Kazakhstan's favorite ring announcer, John Fina. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for your special co-patron attraction of the evening. Scheduled for six rounds. This at a catch weight of 132 pounds. This bout is proudly sponsored by Sailor Jerry, Spice Navy Rum, and referee in charge of the action, Mr. Paul Toil. Now, we introduce you first. Fighting out of the blue corner to my right. He's wearing white trunks and black trim, and weighing in a trim and ready, 132 pounds. A veteran of 19 professional victories, with 15 defeats, with 12 big wins, coming by way of knockout. He comes to us from Miami, Florida. Please welcome, Carlos Fulgencio. Fighting out of the red corner to my left. Wearing green, white, and gold, he weighed in at 131 and a half pounds. Undefeated as a professional with 21 victories and eight big wins coming by way of knuckle. Who comes to us from Ontario, Canada. Please welcome Logan Potter. here in New England. Hails from Ontario, Canada. Brandon, you hail from West Fork, Spain. How far from the Canadian border are you? Just under 40 miles from the Canadian border. And then uh, the first major city is St. George, and then, of course, Quebec, which is about two and a half hours uh, from my house, my doorstep. This is about brought to you by Sailor Jerry Spiced Rum. Proud sponsors of Murphy's Boxing and this broadcast here on murphysboxing.com. Carlos Fulgencio wearing the white trunks with the black trim. Logan Cott McGinnis is wearing the green and white trunks. This one's scheduled for six junior lightweights. And right from the get-go, we are seeing Logan McGinnis with a bit of a cheering section behind him go to the body and then a nice stiff left jab upstairs to Fulgencio moments ago. And another one. Yeah, you could feel the love in uh, his ring entrance. You know, Logan Cott, I think he's already uh, formed a fan base here in New England. He came out to uh, that song that's in the movie, The Fighter, and I think the crowd uh, it also enjoyed that. And he's coming out strong here with some nice jabs to the body, staying very busy, and uh, definitely a crowd favorite already. Entrance music performed by the promoter of tonight's event, Ken Casey. That's the Dropkick Murphys, the Warriors Code, a song they wrote about Mickey Ward. You can't go wrong mentioning Mickey Ward in Boston. People love him. I think it was a matter of time before somebody mentioned his name. I'm surprised he's not here tonight as he often is in attendance in these local boxing events supporting his sport that has made him who he is today. Well, Jensen doing a good job fighting out the ropes. But he's been eating a lot of leather and that left jab has landed hard at least three, now four times to my count, courtesy of Logan Cotton McGinnis. Yes. He's in trouble here on the ropes. This isn't where you should be finding him. That body shot right there. That's low. And 
they're going to say that is a knockdown. It was a left hand on the belt line, courtesy of Logan McGinnis, and a bit of a delayed reaction by our referee, Paul Doyle, in starting to count, which I think led many to believe that he was going to initially rule it low. Yeah, from this angle, it looked a little low, but again, going right back to the body. This one might be able to quickly. And a right hand on the head this time sends Jotinsio to the canvas mark on the same corner. He was trying to get to the side of the ring before the referee signaled to. McGinnis wants to finish this one and finish it in style. Yeah, he's definitely got that clear instinct, uh, you know, which I think all fighters need to have. And he's, he's looking in this night, but although his opponent is coming back with some shots of his own off the ropes. Body shot right there. Round TKO over Powell's Fulgencio here in Melrose, Massachusetts. Put his punches together very impressively. Um, you know, those body shots definitely were the deciding factor, I believe. But he went upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. You can tell that he definitely has some experience and he puts his punch together very well. Carlos Vigencio is signaling to his corner that he was slipping due to poor traction on his boxing shoes, but that does not seem to fit in with the narrative which I saw. Now he's arguing with a guy in the front row. That's probably not good. So Logan McGinnis will improve to 22 and 0. Nine of his wins coming by way of knockout. Essentially grabs a win against Fulgencio here tonight. Be nice to see how he fits in the mix with other guys in the junior lightweight and featherweight weight divisions out there. There's Ryan Kozeski from the area, Louis Rosa from Connecticut, keeping it within New England. On the world stage, yeah, you've got some very him. interesting fights at that weight class. I think him and Ryan would be a really good matchup. Hey. We're at the official time of the stoppage inside one round right now from John Vina. Carlos Fulgencio after multiple knockdowns. And now for a post fight interview, we go to Butch Stearns. Peter here with Logan McGinnis. Logan, uh, I mean, quite honestly, not really much of a fight. You had control right from the beginning. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm coming off an 18 months layoff, right? So, I mean, we need this kind of fight to get back in there um, and get fighting again, right? But I mean, I need a couple of rounds to get, get my feeling back. But hopefully, we're going to get back in there in May, right? I'm, I mean, I'm signed with Ken Case now in the Murphy's Boxing. So big things are going to happen. Um, I'm going to be here a lot often. So I'm going to make a big fan base here. And I mean, I got exciting style. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see too much of it tonight. But uh, I got, got, got around in there, hurt a guy a bit. 
but I'm going to be back and, and fighting a lot more Sometimes here. Sometimes you get in the ring and it takes a while to feel a guy out and to learn things. Yeah. So are you disappointed it, it didn't go a little longer tonight? Yeah, I definitely. Like right now, like I said, coming off 18 months, I need rounds, right? I need rounds to get back to where I was. Shake off the little bit of rust I did have. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't get more rounds, but a knockout's always nice too, right? Get back in there and get a guy out of there. But I mean, if I could have dragged it out a couple more rounds and then got him out of there to, to get a little, little more rust off, right? But that's all right. We'll be back here soon, so no worries, you know? So for the people that haven't seen you fight, or maybe the people that came here tonight and didn't get to see a lot yeah. of you, and we're streaming this out tonight and saw yeah. you, what type of fighter are you? What are they going to see if they stop oh, I'm, I'm a pressure fighter. I like to come forward, pressure. I like to hit the body, dig the body. As you've seen tonight, that's what was hurting the guy with body shots. But I'm going to come forward. I'm an exciting style, right? Um, I like to mix it up with guys. I can also box, too, but I like to, I like to do it both, right? I'm a pressure fighter. I like to come forward and fight. Congratulations. All right, thank you so much. All right, Logan McGinnis, winner of the fight. Now we got one more big fight, the main event. Danny Boy O'Connor against Michael Clark. Back to you, Peter. Logan McGinnis making as many fans as can in the Brown as he improved to 22 and 0 tonight. Hey, you're coming from Canada, you come to Boston, you're on Boston Street, you want to stop off at McGreevy's Third Base Saloon, a fine place to have a drink and get some food. McGreevy's Saloon on Boylston Street in Boston. Still to come tonight, our main event, Danny O'Connor taking on Michael Clark. Ten rounds of welterweight action.